over the back of the end zone. Touchdown. There's Brandon Coleman again. Bomber to throw. Has Johnson to the right. He's got some blockers inside the 20. Now to the 15. Outside to the 10. Five. Touchdown, Cardinals. We got two teams here in the Saints and Cardinals before the season, Bucky. We thought this might be a big football game, both underwhelming so far this year. But when you look at this matchup, it's still tasty because you got Drew Brees and what yep. he can do with those weapons on the outside going up against the Cardinals secondary. It's uh, got a bunch of stars back there. Yeah, when you look at the numbers, it's about the Saints pass offense against the Cardinals really blanketed pass defense. There you see over 300 pass yards per game. They lead the National Football League, but they're going against a very, very stingy bunch from the Cardinals led by Patrick Peterson. Yeah, and a stingy bunch that can get their hands on the football, Buck. And, and Drew Brees, you know, look, it, to me, I think when you look at his game, Buck, just making those simple plays, making those simple throws, he does it as well as anybody. Just pile, they, I call it like death by a million paper cuts. Yep. They're just going to methodically move the ball down the field against you. are going to spread it around his favorite receiver. The guy that's open. <laughs> oh, you know, he does a great job of distributing the ball to all of his playmakers. He uses the entire field. Not only does he stretch the field vertically, he stretches it horizontally, really exposes the cracks in your coverage. And DJ Swearinger right there, by the way. Big rebound year for him in this Arizona secondary. Player I like coming out of college. Struggled a little bit early on, and then uh, and now he got rolling. How about your matchup to watch in this game? How about Brandon Cooks versus Patrick Peterson? Brandon Cooks is an explosive playmaker, someone that we're still waiting to take the next step. But he's going against really a sticky defender in Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson has three interceptions this year. Does a great job of getting his hands on receivers, but also finding a way to get his hands on the ball. For Brandon Cooks, it's about finding a way to make big plays down the field. They need to have some explosives to really be able to attack a team that likes to bliss a lot from the off. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. I'm with you, Buck, 100%. Now, my X factor in this game, I'm going to go to the Cardinals defense, but I'm going to go up front and go with Calais Campbell. Got a lot of attention last week, unfortunately, for the hit that he had on Ryan Tannehill, but he can be a very disruptive player, one of the tallest defenders in the National Football League up against an undersized quarterback. So look for him to try and get his hands on a couple passes at the line of scrimmage if he can't get home and get pressure on Drew Brees. Be an interesting player to watch in this matchup. Very interesting. They have to get pressure on Drew Brees. They can't allow him to throw from a grassy knoll in the back end. He can't be comfortable in the pocket. They have to find a way to get it done. I don't think the Cardinals are able to do it. I'm going with the Saints in this one. Look for them to light it up. I think Sean Payton has a few things to attack that defense. I, I don't like either one of these teams right now, but the Cardinals are at home. If for no other reason, I'm going to pick the Cardinals to get it done. Heartbreaker of a loss last week. I think they rebound this week, and they do get a win. Two teams with bad records, but I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very good game.